everybody. Um, so yeah, so I founded a company called Posse.com a couple of years ago, and before that I used to manage bands. But um, I'm not going to talk about either of those things. What I want to talk about is something I've just been thinking about over the last couple of weeks, really, since I was at a dinner party, um, it was like two weeks ago on Sunday, and one of my friends said, um, I've got the Sunday night dread. <coughs> and I was like, what's that? And he goes, oh, it's just the end of the weekend, and you know, the work's coming up tomorrow, and I'm just dreading going back to work. And everyone else at the table was also like, oh, yeah, I've got the Sunday night dread too. And it just made me think, you know, we spend 45, maybe 50 years of our lives, most of us, working in jobs that we'd really rather not go to. And so I just think um, we could be so much happier and more productive as a society if we rethought the way that we approach our work. So this is... Um, This is how when I was at school, this is how we used to think about our careers. Um, if we worked hard, went to university, would find an organization and would step in on the bottom of the escalator at some kind of entry level job. And then if our career would work somewhat like an escalator. We would keep working hard, so long as we don't annoy anyone too much. By the time we get to our 30s, we'd be in middle level management. And then if we keep working and we get to our 50s, We'll be the boss, we'll be making lots of money, and then at some stage we'd step off the elevator, retire, and make way for other people who are coming through. So that was the way that it was supposed to work. But I don't know if it ever worked like that, but it definitely doesn't work like that now. Like whole industries get dismantled almost overnight, jobs are getting outsourced, old people don't retire, they're not getting off the escalator. It's all like jammed, and I really think that we need a new system. And this is just something I've been thinking about. I'm going to come back to my three ideas for how to reapproach how we think about our careers in a second. But I just want to look at first where we came from. So a long time ago, like 10,000 year, 10, years ago or something, we used to live like this. We were all self-employed. So we all had to um, go out, find food for ourselves, constantly reinvent new ways of living. And uh, we were essentially, we were all entrepreneurs. We were all respons responsible for ourselves. Then we started settling down we invented money, we invented this idea of jobs, and then we, we forgot that we were entrepreneurs, we evolved a bit, and we, just, we, we started thinking of ourselves as labor. And I guess my idea is that the whole system is broken, we now all need to think of ourselves, again, as entrepreneurs, and our careers, I guess, as a startup. That doesn't mean that everybody has to go out and start a business, like that would be crazy. It's just that we need to think of ourselves and the way that we build our careers as being our own little business. And so my three ideas are that I've started a few different businesses. Whenever I start a business, there's three things that we do. And I think you can apply that same methodology um, as you do when you start a business to thinking about your career. So the first thing that I do when I think about a business is I design the culture. So first of all, what is the vision? Not like, what is our goal? How much money do I want to make? It's really, what is my vision? What do I want to put out there in the world? So what is my vision you know, for my company at the moment is Posse. Then I think about the values. And we spend months building a brand book like this. And it will have, what are the values of our company? What is our vision? Um, yeah, what are we here for? And that, and that determines how we interact with each other, you know, how we make decisions, how we design our product, everything. Um, how we interact with clients, and we spend so much time doing this kind of thing for our businesses, but we never do it for ourselves. And so about five years ago, I created my own brand book for myself as a person. And I started defining, okay, well, what are my values? What do I stand for? What's my vision? Not how much money do I want to make or where do I want to live? Not goals, but really what do I want to put out there in the world? And this is just some of my, you know, I wrote a whole book, like a, um, yeah, like a little exercise book, cover to cover, my brand book, and I spent several months doing it, and I can always refer back to it. So first of all, design your culture, and then when you really know who you are, then I think you can start designing your career on top of that. So the next thing, the next thing that we do is we design our product. And Gmail, I think, is a really cool example because Gmail's been around for several years, used by hundreds of millions of people, but it still says that it's in beta, or beta. And it's never finished. It's always evolving, always innovating. I think we need to think of our careers in the same way that we ourselves are always in beta. So you're always looking for a way to improve yourself, um, learn, and be prepared to pivot. So in my 20s, I had this cool business in music. We made, and by the end of it, we were making good money, but I'd stopped learning. And so I think probably one of my proudest things in my career has been that I gave up that business 
and took a huge risk and went back and started something from scratch and really made nothing for a long time. Um, still make very little, but, um, but the, I've, I've developed myself, I guess, as a product. So thinking of yourself as a product and being prepared to pivot in order to keep innovating. And then the last thing that we do when we build businesses is we always look for breakout opportunities. And it's a business example. You know, one of the bands I used to manage was this band called Evermore, and we slugged it out for years and years, touring around the country, trying to build a fan base. It was really hard. We never broke through. And then once I noticed um, there was this TV show called The OC on Channel 10, and they were thrashing the promos. And I thought, well, that's a very similar audience to Evermore. So I just called up Channel 10 out of the blue, spoke to reception, said, hey, my name's Rebecca. I, I want to speak to the person who makes the OC promos. And I got put in, in touch with this guy who was a producer. Um, he's just a backroom guy, and he's never been called by anybody in the music industry before. And I said, I've got this band. I think it'll be a great song for your promos. And he was like, career across the CD, when you still had CDs. And it was a Friday afternoon, and he called me back, and he's like, I love it. It's going to be on the promo this Sunday night for the next week. And it ended up, we ended up becoming the theme song for the OC in Australia. And the band, two weeks later, was all over the radio. We had number one record. And it completely changed the um, course of that artist's career. So I think in the same way, we need to look at our careers. Like you need to look for those breakout opportunities. Like success very rarely comes from slugging it out. It comes from you know, just trying to create court serendip serendipity, but also looking for those big opportunities, um, hustling. And I just always, I guess, just always been curious. So yeah, so that's my idea. Three things that you can do if you're like, everyone in this room looks pretty young, so you're all thinking about your careers. Um, I would say don't think about your careers as a series of jobs. Think about you know, yourself first. Who are you? What's your culture like? What do you want to put out in the world? What are your values? And then think of yourself as a product. Like if you keep skilling up um, and innovating and then look for breakout opportunities. I think in the end, we'll all be more productive, we'll all be happier, and we'll all be much more satisfied in the end. Thanks.